Hey guys, someone asked a question about chopping samples in Logic and what tools I use. I have used uh, several. Um, most frequently, I choose to use Geist 2. I'm gonna demonstrate that really quickly here, as well as demonstrating <laughs> what would be my new workflow, uh, which is the new Quick Sampler. Uh, let's see if we can get that going right now. Uh, all right, so here's guys two. It's an amazing device uh, with up to 64 pads. Um, <laughs> yeah, each pad can have up to eight samples um, in a layer or crossfades between velocity zones. Uh, but most of the time you're just using 16 or so. Uh, it also has this great tool called auto slicing, which I'm going to demonstrate here. You have to navigate to the file you want to slice, turn on auto slicing, and then as you can see here, it did indeed slice it. Uh, and what that does is it places each sample, each chop of a sample on a key. So you can, you can even uh, manipulate that and control each sample. You can send each of these samples to its own output within Logic um, for mixing purposes. You can also, it also has built-in effects, so you can uh, do that. You can also play back the original pattern, which you see here on screen, as is at different tempos. Uh, that's cool and effective, and it was the way I'd done it until now. However, had a uh, quick sampler existed before, I would have used it. So now I'm going to locate that same sample, which I think I have available here. And I'm going to load it into the quick sampler. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna find out how. Well, I guess I don't have to go back. Um, I click the slice button and it immediately chopped it. Like, just done. And you can see each sample as it's playing. They can be manipulated so that you can, uh, by, by the way, clicking this quick, this, this crossfade button is really cool. But you can also change where each sample's playback ends and how it ends using the envelopes below. Um, so I don't like that ending, for instance. So I'm going to filter it. And actually I want to use amp. Oh, you checking the right one? I am not. Oops, sorry. All right. So that's much better. Also, uh, that's it. But it's 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 chopped. It's chopped right now. I don't have to do anything else. But uh, say I want to mix this with each sample on its own mixer channel. To do that, I could just take this sample and s select, I, I have it here, but in Logic's list, it's here, the sampler. But I could select the sampler, multi-sample version, in multi-out mode. It's gonna reload that in the, in the sampler. And if I cut off all these menus and turn on the zone and mapping, I should say, and collect, select the zone mapping here, you can then move each sample to its own output. So if I click one sample here, I'm gonna turn on the MIDI so I can see what I'm hitting. Um, so I'm hitting the sample. I can switch it to its own output by changing it from the group output. Actually, I want you to see this, so let me find the mixer. All right, so it's all coming out of one output for the moment. I'm going to uh, create a new output and call it kick. And right now, it's playing out of the same output, but I can change that quickly. So now, these two samples, uh, on their own outputs. And you can, of course, create a bunch more. Uh, I changed that back, kick, 
clap, snare, hi hat. So I'm gonna take this clap shot sample and send it to uh, set five six, and then going to snare. Where is this? That is the snare, I guess. I thought this had a snare snare, but oh well. Let's call that snare. And this hi hat. All right, so let's find that. I'll fix that in a second. But anyway, let's send that to seven and eight. So now, so now, oops, this one isn't going where I want it. Seven, eight. Oh, yeah. So they're all on their own outputs now, and you can affect them appropriately. Adding send effects, et cetera, to each sound is pretty simple, just like in with any other uh, uh, logic setup uh, sound. Is there something else I wanted to show you about this? Of course, the original output is still available for other samples, and normally I would just put the kick here. But uh, that's it. That's the quick sampler uh, and the sampler. Uh, used in a chopping workflow. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.